Hi there, my name is Daniel. This is 486 Nostalgia, and uh, this CD that I'm looking at here is Game Empire Volume 1, something I used to play as a kid loads. So let's check out action games, and I want to look at Cyberbox today. It's not going to take long, it's a really difficult puzzle game. I really um, can't play it very well at all. Um, this is Blue Balls, I will check it out soon, I promise. Uh, I read it's just a snake clone, um, so not really excited by that one. Um, even though the name is amazing. There goes the Nokia phone again. Okay, Cyberbox. Let's play it from the hard drive. So, this is a fairly complicated, well, simple, but difficult little puzzle game. you got these sliders, blockers, pushers, zappers. Basically, I'm a little circle. Uh, I'm supposed to be a robot, I think, according to the readme. Um, this is a little game by Doug Beaferman. So um, the robot moves these blocks around. You'll see. It's pretty simple. So i got to get to that exit, which is at the top of the screen. Um, and that's kind of easier said than done. I have messed this up lots. I think I go here. And then... No, I don't. Nope, that gets me stuck. Mm, is there a clever way? Oh, no, wait. There we go. Haha. -ha. Yep. Um, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to puzzle games. I'm not not very good at them at all. So there's going to be a lot of humming and humming over this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work either. Hmm. Yeah. This is where I get stuck. Level 2. <laughs> I'm really... Really not cut out for this at all. Uh, what do you do? I I even watched a a walkthrough of this, which I will post along with this video. But I I watched a walkthrough. Let's let's go ahead and push that up there, and then I think I can push these. Right? Is that helpful? Oh, and then I can do this. That's not going to help at all. Is it? Can I push those? Oh, good. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm a genius. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. This is. Yeah. That's fine. Can do. Can do that. No, we can't. Oh, we shouldn't have done that at all. Oh dear. That's very sad. Restart that level. What should I have done? Uh. Uh. Hmm. I presume my only oh wait I can do that oh wow quite a lot of lateral thinking involved here so I looked at the readme of this this guy um, was just about to go into his freshman year of college when he made this um, so I think it's pretty cool like even before he went to university he was able to uh, to come up with something like this I'm probably doing all the wrong things here. Okay. Um, yeah, and I've looked at his sort of CV since then. He's worked for Microsoft and Google and all sorts of companies, and he's done educational titles and that sort of thing. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I looked for ages for a walkthrough. I finally found one. There is a YouTube video. I will post you a link, as I said. I, yeah, I think we're going to need it. This is, this is terrible. Um... Um, no, that's, oh wait, oh, okay, yeah, I should really just try things. The awkward thing about just trying things is that you, you then lose a retry, which means then that you got to start the whole thing from scratch if you mess it up. Um, I'm not, not a big fan of that particular mechanic. Oh no, I need to get back there. Mmm. Ah, uh, uh, I need to get. See, I need to get back here so that I can push that green one that's diagonally down and left. Oh, and I have to go through that whole thing again. Uh, uh, oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did I do here? Did I just do that? Yeah, I did. Okay, that green one needs to be pushed up. Should I push these? Sure, why not? Okay, and on my way past, I'll push that. 
and then do this. Oh, all oh, right, that blue block seals you off. Okay, I didn't notice that before. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Push you two, and up we go. Man, I never thought I would get this far. So that blue block is going to crush in as soon as I move away. So the question is, do we take this path, or that one, or that one? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I bet we'll have to take all of them at some stage. This is messed up. Right, let's let's start over here. I'm sure that there's something I'll need to do over here that will be in some way useful. Right? N um, yeah, that wasn't useful at all. And another restart. Uh, da, 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 do that, and then this. Da, da, da. Sorry, is this really boring? I'm sorry. I didn't know I was here to entertain you. No, I did. That's not going to work. Yep. Restart and game over. So, I got 56 points. You know, that's not bad. Did I make 500 and Did I press my keyboard buttons 554 times? You lose a point for each uh, move you make and then you lose you lose point or you get get points for attempts that you've not used. Let's check out the readme. So, there you are Doug Beaverman, August 1991. Um you can pause the video if you really want to read these. Um, or you can just download the game. It is available free from his website. Um, there is his address. I'm sure that's old by this stage. That's where he lived 22 years ago. Um, and, oh, yeah. Um, the bottom line, Cyberbox is not copyright. <laughs> not copyright 1991 by Doug Beaferman and is not a registered trademark of anyone. Steal it freely. It's a stupid name. Mm -hmm. uh, but here he is. I'm going to be a freshman computer science major at the University of Illinois uh, in roughly two weeks. That's pretty cool. Um, and when you look at his life and what he's done, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, there you go. Cyberbox. Um, people seem to like the sequel to this more. Uh, I never played it. I don't really care. This is what was on my Game Empire CD, so that's all I'm covering. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Sorry I'm so bad at puzzle games, and uh, check out that walkthrough, it's pretty cool.